China built the world's highest bridge with 1 billion yuan, but it was slandered by the United States as plagiarism, and it shocked the world after it was completed. Let us find out in this video. China's high-speed rail technology has surpassed the world's first class level, but in fact, China's bridge construction technology is also famous all over the world. China has built many bridges with the world's first reputation. For example, the bridge we are going to introduce today was the highest est bridge in the world when it was under construction. Because of its unique design and height, foreigners are jealous, and the United States is rumored to have copied them. The bridge spans two mountains, with a total length of 1,314 meters and a height of 565 meters, which is equivalent to a 200-story skyscraper. This is the most famous Beipanjiang Bridge in China. When China planned to build this bridge, many foreign bridge experts visited China. The conclusion they came to after investigation is that this is an impossible task. They even laughed at China for not being able to build such a difficult bridge. Chinese engineers don't care about the cynicism of foreign experts. Instead, they worked hard. Chinese engineers stayed in the mountains in southwest China for three years, and finally the bridge was finally built. The completion of the bridge has also made many foreign experts sigh. They praise the Chinese for being so good that they built the bridge in just three years. A bridge that makes foreigners think it is impossible to complete, so what is so special about this bridge? What were the difficulties in building the bridge? The Beipanjiang Bridge is located at the junction of Xianwei, Yunnan and Shuicheng, Guizhou, across the two provinces of Yunnan and Guizhou. It is jointly built by Yunnan and Guizhou provinces with a total investment of 1.028 billion yuan. Among them, Yunnan contributed 537 million yuan, and Guizhou contributed 491 million yuan. The vertical height from the bridge deck to the bottom of the valley is 565 meters, making it the highest bridge in the world. Just thinking about it is an incredible height. The area where the Beipanjiang Bridge is located is a karst landform area with steep gullies and numerous karst caves. Caves are like mines, and the location of bridges is very difficult. In order to avoid the caves and fissures all over the mountain, the designers kept moving the position of the bridge higher, and finally set the bridge deck at a dizzying height of 565 meters. We know that the Beipanjiang Bridge is a real modern bridge on a highway. There were large cargo trucks reciprocating non-stop on the bridge deck, and the cable tower was located on the cliff, so the technical difficulty of construction can be imagined. Before the construction of the Beipanjiang Bridge, a geological survey must first be carried out under the bridge piers, detecting whether there was a void within hundreds of meters below the bridge. If cavities in the rock are found, these cavities must be reinforced with cement to ensure the stability of the foundation of the Beipanjiang Bridge. Otherwise, Rushing to build piers above these cavities means that the rock foundation of the Beipanjiang Bridge would collapse under the weight of the bridge itself. Therefore, from the beginning of the survey, the construction difficulty of the Beipanjiang Bridge had surpassed that of the Golden Gate Bridge in the United States. Secondly, the Beipanjiang Bridge is located on the Yunnan and Guizhou Plateau. There was no shortage of various deep pits and canyons in this area, and it was very difficult to build roads on them. This means that when China was building the Beipanjiang Bridge, its logistical support for the construction of the bridge would inevitably be affected to a certain extent. Especially on the Yunnan and Guizhou Plateau, the winding and complex roads mean that China cannot build modules in factories in advance as in the past, 
and transport them directly to the construction site for hoisting by special transport vehicles similar to SPMT. Therefore, when the Chinese built the Beipanjiang Bridge, they often needed to complete the pouring of the bridge modules on site to ensure that the bridge construction process was relatively smooth. Coupled with the relatively harsh climate environment of the Yunnan and Guizhou Plateau, during the construction of the Beipanjiang Bridge, it is necessary to deal with various severe weather such as fog, rain, and freezing, as well as sudden valley winds, which can directly cause the dangerous impact of sudden outbreaks of bridge safety accidents. It is very difficult to build bridges in this area. This also led to the height of the bridge deck of Beipanjiang Bridge far exceeding that of ordinary bridges. Eliminating the lack of strength of the mountain below the bridge and using a higher bridge deck to avoid the unstable airflow inside the valley is also the main reason why the Beipanjiang Bridge broke the world record. Because the Beipanjiang Bridge is so unique and completely beyond people's imagination, a considerable part of the media in the United States claimed that China was able to build the Beipanjiang Bridge because they obtained the design drawings of the Golden Gate Bridge in the United States. Then, by copying the bridge design, the bridge that broke multiple world records was built. But in fact the Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge, and the Beipanjiang Bridge is a cable-stayed bridge. Even if the United States handed over all the design drawings of the Golden Gate Bridge to China and let China imitate it intact, it would be impossible to build the Beipanjiang Bridge as it is now. Therefore, although many Americans always claim that the Beipanjiang Bridge is actually a plagiarism of the American Miracle Project, it is impossible to copy a world miracle with a height of more than 200 floors and a bridge deck length of 1,314 meters simply by plagiarism. If the Chinese hadn't made breakthroughs in bridge construction technology and relied on their own abilities to break through various difficulties, it would be impossible to build such a majestic building as the Beipanjiang Bridge. After solving these problems, the Beipanjiang Bridge finally opened to traffic in 2016, and it only took three years. In May 2018, Beipanjiang Bridge won the Gustavus Gold Medal at the 35th International Bridge Conference. In September 2018, the Beipanjiang Bridge was certified by the Guinness Book of World Records and also won the title of the world's highest bridge. The establishment of the Beipanjiang Bridge directly connects Yunnan and Guizhou. Previously, the driving time from Guizhou to Yunnan was more than five hours. After the completion of the bridge, the driving time was directly shortened to only one hour. The bridge not only shortens the travel time between the two places, but also promotes economic development. We may not be able to imagine the difficulties encountered in building this world-class bridge. But only after seeing it with our own eyes can we truly feel the majesty of the Beipanjiang Bridge. Today, China's infrastructure technology is becoming more and more advanced, especially the completion of the Beipanjiang Bridge, which has driven the development of Yunnan and Guizhou, played a role in fueling the economic strategy of southwest China, and brought new hope to the Chinese people. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.